there's this video that's called Top 5 Worst uh, Dragon Ball Plot Holes. Now, I'm a very big Dragon Ball Z fan, but uh, I'm totally fine with people pointing out plot holes or criticizing Dragon Ball Z where merited. Um, this video is done by Swag Kage, and this is a very, very bad video. I'm not really interested in number four because it doesn't directly have to do with the strict DBZ manga, but all other four don't add up whatsoever. <laughs> Excuse me? Alright, so first of all, Trunks is the first Super Saiyan that Dr. Jiro had eyes on, so I think taking his cells might have made Cell quite a bit stronger. But that's not where the plot hole comes in. See, Cell came to the present timeline from the future, the same future that Trunks came from. In this future, Goku showed up to defeat Frieza and King Cold. You know, future Trunks, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he, he wasn't there! There were no cells for the surveillance drone to take in the first place, so... What the fuck, Cell? So here's the thing. This isn't a plot hole because the perfect Cell who came to the main timeline didn't come from the same future that the f future chunks came from. There are four different timelines, two future ones and two present ones with one of the timelines being unseen. So future chunks and main timeline Cell came from two separate futures and not the same one. So they're not from the same timeline. That's false. The same, they're not from the same future. That's wrong. So this is probably the easiest plot hole to explain on the entire list. After Majin Buu left Piccolo and Gotenks stranded inside of the Room of Spirit and Time, Piccolo is panicking, trying to think of a way out because of the fact that, according to him, as seconds passed in the Room of Spirit and Time, hours passed outside in the real world. That's not how the Room of Spirit and Time works, Piccolo. It, it, you got it backwards. No, it's not like Piccolo just had a brain fart here either. When he and Gotenks escape the Room of Spirit and Time, they find that in the real world, yes, hours have indeed passed. And once again, it bears repeating, that's not how the Room of Spirit and Time works. This one isn't a, even a plot hole either, because in the manga, when Piccolo asked Gohan how Dende survived when Boo had so much time to kill him, Gohan corrects Piccolo about it being the other way around. Time glows slower on the outside and faster on the inside because a whole year is being spent on the inside while only a day passes on the outside. And as you can see in this manga page, Piccolo says, why was Dende the only one to survive? He says, Boo had all the time in the world to find and kill him. And Gohan says, are you talking about when you fought in the Room of Spirit and Time? And Piccolo says, that's right. Gohan says, but you guys came out right after he did, since a year passes in there for every day out here. You came out almost at the same instant, didn't you? And Piccolo responds saying, that's right, I can't believe I got mixed up like that. You're right, I had it backwards. We're all clear on the fact that the Dragon Balls turn to stone for a year after they're used, right? We're also all clear on the fact that the Namek Saga happened a month after the Saiyan Saga? So how did Popo do this? How was he able to summon Shenron? The Dragon Balls had just been used a month prior to revive Goku from the dead. You, did, you, you didn't forget about that, did you, Toriyaba? And man... This isn't just, like, a tiny wish, either. This isn't something that I could just let slide because of how minuscule it is. This is one of the biggest plot points of the Namek Saga. If Popo hadn't done this, Piccolo would have been trapped on Namek. That means Kami would have died, which thereby means that Earth's Dragon Balls would not have been usable again. The Namekian Dragon Balls wouldn't have ever been usable again, meaning that Krillin never would have been able to return to life. Vegeta never would have come back to life. Like, there are a lot of very important things that rely on on Mr. Popo being able to make this wish, and he shouldn't be able to do it. But Swag Kage! Kami had just come back to life, so the Dragon Balls had probably just been restored. Maybe when Kami returns to life, the, the Dragon Balls... I, 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 I do not think that is how it works, so I rest my case. This is actually the worst one, because he's literally showing us a picture of the manga 
of Kami stating, quote, Normally they would be ordinary rocks for the next year, but this time I'll make an exception and grant your wish immediately. So he's showing us evidence that Kami can decide when to use the Dragon Balls. It's just that he rarely uses it before a full year is up. So he's showing us precedence of Kami making an, you know, an exception, and that's clearly what he does here. Now hold on just one second here. <laughs> this isn't a plot hole either because you're mistaking terrible and powerful as being interchangeable. For example, Kid Buu is more terrible than Buhan, but it doesn't mean he's stronger. What it means is that Beerus was able to be reasoned with to some degree, while Kid Buu's completely unable to be reasoned with, as he would go destroying planet by planet without stopping and no hoping, no hope of reasoning with him. <laughs> 